Hello, welcome back to my channel, TESL Online Classroom. I'm Dr. B. My email address is drb.teslchutor at gmail.com. Log on to my website, http colon slash slash www.teslchutor.com. Today we're going to learn the sounds of the English language. There are two types of letters in the English language. One is the consonants and the other is vowels. Beginner readers and English learners will benefit from learning the vowel sounds. It's very important to learn the vowel sounds first and master each sound because it is the building blocks of words. It improves pronunciation, improves spelling, speaking, reading, and comprehension. In, okay. All right, these are the vowels in the English language. A, E, I, O, U. Now, there are rules in the short vowel sounds and long vowel sounds. For the short vowel sound, when one syllable word has a vowel in the middle, usually, the vowel in the middle has short vowel sound. For example, A says A eh, as an apple. E says A eh, as an egg. I, I says E eh, as an iguana. O, O says A. Eh as an octopus. U uses a uh, as an umbrella. The rule in the long vowel sound is when words have two vowels next to each other, usually the first vowel has long vowel sound. The first vowel says its name and the second vowel is silent. For example, the letter A says its name, A as in angel. E says its name as in eagle. I says its name as in island. O says its name as in ocean. U says its name as in unicorn. Now, now we will learn to read more words with long vowel sounds and short vowel sounds. Let's take a look at the first board. C A R E, C A R E, and remember, letter E is silent. Care, care has a, a long vowel sound. Let's take a look at the next board. C A R. C -a -r. Car. Car has a short vowel sound. Let's turn to the next slide. Letter A. These are the words that begin with letter A. A says A as an alligator. Where's the alligator? Alligator begins with short vowel sound. A says A as an angel. Where's the angel? Angel begins with long vowel sound. A says A as an at. Where's the at? And begins with short vowel sound. A says A as an apron. Where is the apron? Apron begins with long vowel sound. A says A as an astronaut. Where's the astronaut? Astronaut begins with short vowel sound. A says A as an acorn. Where's the acorn? Acorn begins with long vowel sound. I utilize the learning and teaching skills of learn letter sound recognition. Letters were pointed out so that the learners will visually recognize the letters of the alphabet. This will help them master the letter names and will make it easier for beginning readers and English learners to learn the letter sounds. 
it will make it easier for them to figure out that when letters and its corresponding sounds are put together into words, it becomes a spoken language. Next is letter E. These are words that begin with letter E. E says E as in eagle. Where's the eagle? Eagle begins with long vowel sound. E says E as in earring. Where's the earring? Earring begins with long vowel sound. E says E as in eel. Where's the eel? Now going back to all these long vowel sounds, let's read them again. Eagle, earring, eel. You notice they have E and A. It makes one sound, long vowel sound. E, E, two E's, makes one sound, long vowel sound. Let's continue. E says E as an egg. Egg begins with short vowel sound. E says E as an elbow. Elbow begins with short vowel sound. E says E as an elephant. Elephant begins with short vowel sound. Now I utilize picture naming and word production. In the previous slide and all of the following slides, the words and its corresponding pictures was and will be matched to make a connection and meaning of the spoken words. This will help learners gain vocabulary meaning and language acquisition. Next slide is letter I. These are the words that begin with letter I. I says I as in ice cream. Where's the ice cream? Ice cream begins with long vowel sound. Ice is I, as in ice cubes. Ice cubes begin, begins with long vowel sound. Ice is I, as in igloo. Igloo begins with short vowel sound. I said I, as in iguana. Where's the iguana? Iguana begins with short vowel sound. I says E as an in ink. Where's the ink? Ink begins with short vowel sound. I says I as an island. Where's the island? Island begins with long vowel sound. Now, let me read them to you. Repeat after me. Ice cream. Ice cubes, igloo, iguana, ink, island. Very good. Ice cream, two words. Ice cubes, two words. Now, this is segmenting and blending for beginning readers and English learners, the ability to learn these two important skills is a must. Iguana, igloo, island. Now, segmenting involves breaking words down into individual sounds or syllables. Phoneme segmentation helps in developing readers and learners their reading and speaking skills. Now, blending involves pulling together individual sounds and syllables to make words. It helps learners to decode unfamiliar words using letter sound patterns and reading. Letter O, these are words that begin with letter O. Remember, O and A makes one sound. O says O as in oatmeal. Where's the oatmeal? Oatmeal begins with long vowel sound. O says O as in ocean. Where's the ocean? Ocean begins with long vowel sound. O says A 
as an octopus. Where's the octopus? Octopus begins with short vowel sound. O says O as in one. Where's one? Number one. One begins with long vowel sound. O says A ah, as in asterisk. Where's the asterisk? Asterisk begins with short vowel sound. O says A ah, as in utter. Where's the utter? Utter begins with short vowel sound. Now follow along silently as I read it aloud. Oatmeal. Ocean. Octopus. One, ostrich, otter. Very good. Listening and repeating words. Throughout this lesson, listening to the teacher and the learners repeating the words were utilized to facilitate learning. These are essential skills for learners because it provides practice in speaking and mastery of new skills. Repeating what was heard improves speed, confidence, and strong auditory visual connection that help learners begin to learn. Now we have letter U. These are the words that begin with letter U. U says A uh, as an umbrella. Where's that umbrella? Umbrella begins with short vowel sound. U says Ah, as in under. Where's the word under? Under begins with short vowel sound. There are two children under the table. U N D E R. Under. U says ah, as in underground. Where's the underground? Underground begins with short vowel sound. Carrots grow underground. U says U as a unibike. Where's the unibike? Unibike begins with long vowel sound. Unibike has one wheel. U says U as in unicorn. Where's the unicorn? Unicorn begins with long vowel sound. It looks like a horse. horse and it's a fictitious character. Uses U as in Uranus. Uranus begins with long vowel sound. Now everybody, let's read along. Follow me, umbrella. Next word, under. Next word, underground. Next word, unibike. Next word, unicorn, and last word, Uranus. Very good. Now, spelling was used on this page as well as the cover page. At some point in the lesson, the teacher, me, used spelling to re uh, read, spelling to aid in reading. This will help learners begin to read words. This is an important skill to help learners in writing when they are ready to write about certain topics. Now, throughout the lesson, learners were exposed to answering the WH, where, what questions. Learners need to understand and be able to ask and answer the WH questions. This will give them the ability to participate in conversations, tell what they know, and present collective ideas. This is the end of my lesson. Thank you for watching my channel. Do not forget to subscribe and follow my next lesson. High five. Great job. Thumbs up.